Don't insult or abuse Tenubu or Sibanjo one's supporters. Hello, my wonderful people. For Sibanjo to say that is a wise man. You know, because you cannot, uh, because you want something, insult, insult somebody else. Uh, whether you like it or not, Tinubu has been Osibanjo's benefactor. Yes, he has been. Uh, Osibanjo became um, attorney general in Lagos for eight years because Osibanjo, uh, Tinubu appointed him when he was the governor of Lagos State and Osibanjo was his attorney general for eight years. They worked together. And so when it was time also for you know, for a Saudanan to be the vice president, guess what? It was the same man who suggested Osibanjo takes on that, um, you know, that position. And so today, um, Nigerians, some Nigerians will prefer Osibanjo. Uh, they feel he will have better ranks of leadership than, uh, uh, than Tinubu. However, Tinubu wants to be Nigerian's president. So it's cut across between, you know, the two. So it feels like the benefactor and the benefactor are struggling for the same position. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Don't abuse or insult Tinubu or Sibanjo wants supporters. As jesting for the All Progressive Congress APC presidential ticket gets closer, Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo has warned his supporters against insulting or abusing APC leader and former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobo. Osibanjo served as Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Lagos under Tinobo. Both men are eyeing the APC presidential ticket, which are which has excited, which has excited exchange of words between supporters, and some supporters of Tinubu has accused Osibanjo of being an ingrate and not supporting Tinubu's presidential quest, despite what Tinubu did for him politically. In the first place, he had no political affluence or influence. Tinubu appointed him to become the Attorney General for Lagos eight years, which gave him the opportunity to learn and to become visible. Tinubu was the one who also appointed, who also suggested him for the Vice President. Source close to the VP said, Osibanjo is against anyone abusing Tinubu and has therefore warned his supporters, even if his supporters abuse his mother don't relate it or count it to Tinubu on no account should anybody insult or degrade Tinubu. Also, sources has revealed that a major rank of Osibanjo support based in northern Emirates, who considered Osibanjo to have demonstrated uncommon loyalty to President Muhammad Buhari and feels very comfortable that he will be able to lead Nigeria. Apart from the Emirates, Four northern governors, two from northwest, two from north central, are also said to be rooting for the vice president. But Tinubu is said to be more popular in the north. So there you have it. There you go. Uh, Yemi Osibanjo is being, you know, um, some people want him by all means to become Nigerian's president. He's got supporters as well in the north. You know, and um, Yemi Osibanjo happens to be that man that a lot of persons, you know, uh, will prefer to Osibanjo. Remember Babangida, the former uh, head of state to Nigeria, once said that, um, well, he feels very strongly that the likes of Atiku and Tinubu should not be given the opportunity to lead Nigeria. People, he said he prefer and, he, and you know, he categorically stated the kind of persons that should become Nigerian's president. In that category, uh, definitely irons out uh, Tinubu as well as Atiku. However, Tinubu has gone to see him now asking for his blessings with regards to his political 
convention, which he has already made President Muhammadu Buhari aware that he wants to become Nigerian's president. The campaign has begun already, but he started on a not on a wrong foot with Nigerians, where he told Niger the first thing he told Nigerians was he is going to pay the Wayek fee of their children. This has not gone down well, but that has brought a backlash on him. As many people have asked, is the Wayek fee the most important thing that we need now? How come Wayek fee is the first thing that came out of your mouth? If somebody is not having security, somebody has not eaten, somebody, you know, there is no, there's no health, can the person go ahead and write an exam? So Nigerians have, you know, feels, he doesn't even understand the nitty gritty to start with with Nigeria, yet he just wants to assume the position because he wants to assume the position. So this is what Nigerians are saying and this is what Nigerians are talking about. And some prefer, some will prefer Yemi Osibanjo saying he will have more to give and to, you know, and to turn and tailor the nation in the right direction than Itinubu. So this is what is happening right now and then um, we are all we are all privy and witness to some of these things that are happening right now. So my wonderful people, it is time for everyone, you know, for us to decide as a people who we want to lead us. We can't because of sentiment, we can't because of uh, tribal, uh, you know, sentiment, religion, sentiment, religion, sentiment or ethnic bias, not pick right leadership if there is an election in 2022 and we are to uh, 2023 and we are to pick a president we better pick well because at the end of the day whatever decision we make we will live with it so the time to act is now we cannot allow again okay the same thing that has been going on before we can't allow it to happen we can't allow it to happen you know, so this is part of what is going on, and Nigerians needs to be aware that um, you know when when to when the adage goes that when to uh, when to, when there's fight between two uh, areas, what suffers is the is the grass. You know, when we are growing up, we say if there's fight between two elephants, what suffers is the grass in that area. You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe remember we are all going to live with a choice the decision we make so we better make the right decision okay leave us a comment god bless you have a good day bye for now bye